Hi guys and welcome back to What If X Manager Managed Rangers series where we're taking a look at what would happen if a couple of gaffers got the Rangers hot seat. Today we're looking at Derek McInnes, uh, see what would happen if he got the job as most people in the game in Scotland do expect him to do. Uh, as you can see, third place finish behind his old side Aberdeen here, only 61 points behind Aberdeen on 71 and Celtic on a measly 78 there which he still couldn't lay a glove on. Only seven cleared of St Johnson and Hibbs, and only nine actually cleared of sixth place Dundee and eventual seventh place Motherwell. So it didn't go very well for him at all. We take a little look at the transfers. I've had to take control of Rangers actually so we can properly see these players here because like an idiot I left the attribute masking on, but no big no big deal. Alu Diara came in on a free, who is a, an alright player I suppose, but a bit of a weird one to bring in, a 36 year old player. He played 9 games and 5 off the bench, were just under a 7 rating, which isn't terrible, but it seems a bit of a weird transfer. Scott McLean coming in here, a young player, one for the future but not good enough in my opinion, got okay physical stats, can cross it, but don't really see why they bought him, uh, one, one start, one off the bench. 6.2 rating, don't not good enough for me. Thibaut Verlinden coming in from Stoke, as most Rangers managers have purchased. He came from Stoke, they got him from Standard a couple of years back. So most of the Rangers managers so far have brought him in. He did pretty well, 10 starts and 14 off the bench, 3 goals, just over a 7 average rating, that's pretty good. Marvin Johnson came in from Middlesbrough, who's a decent left-sided uh, player. Uh, the left wing where we're having some problems in my Rangers uh, series actually uh, Ladbrokes Premiership, 11 starts and 3 off the bench, 6.8 average so ok um, and for a 1 million fee you'd probably expect a bit better uh, Pau Sendros, the 31 year old Spanish centre back comes in, plays 1 game, 1 off the bench, gets a 6.5 another failed signing you'd say there Jack Armstrong in from Ross County, he's obviously a regen yeah, he looks ok, he looks like he's got a bit of potential according to the uh, the coaches here has got massive potential played one game got a 6 but he is only a young boy and Ignacio Ruiz de Galareta coming in the Spanish central midfielder there he looks ok played 12 games one goal one uh, two assists and a 6.82 so alright not bad came in from Barcelona B decent technical stats but his physicals are really going to hamper him I think in Scotland he may be able to develop and get a bit better even but he's probably the best signing there but even then not that great nobody sold actually permanently which is interesting uh, if we take a little look in terms of the performances now we'll go over to our tactics here um, we'll sort this by average rating the best player there Bruno Alves with a 7.48 average crazy average there uh, we can take a little look here he played 24 games in the league 7.54 crazy season for Bruno Alves Ryan Jack then 7.37 Cardoso 7.22 Eduardo Herrera with a 7.13 and 22 goals many of those were league goals I wonder 16 league goals 6 assists great performance from from Herrera this season for him uh, Candeas as well playing well 8 goals and 4 assists in the league Good, good season for him. Alu Diara actually with the, the next best rating, but he didn't play that many games. Then it's Lee Wallace, who did play quite a few games at left back and did all right. Kenny Miller, who surely didn't play many games. He had 13 starts in the league. No wonder he was no wonder he was third in the league here, playing poorly. Um, 13 starts, no goals, 6.67 average. Uh, his average of 7.01 is actually boosted a lot by the Euro Cup where they would have played some absolute mug teams early on. Uh, James Tavernier then was okay after that and everybody else are just looking at okay ratings. In terms of the goals, it is Herrera with 22, then it plummets to 10 on Candeas, 9 for Holt, 8 for Doran, 7 Jack, only 6 for Morelos, which I find a little bit strange. He's only worth 400k here, he is wanted by Cologne. Only got 10 starts in the league, got 4 goals, so certainly he's not done very well for him at all. So that's that. Let's have a look at his, shed, uh, his fixtures just now. Um, didn't get off to the best start, lost at Motherwell, beat Cali Thistle, lost against Hibbs, got battered by Braga, which is fair enough, I'll allow him that one. Um, beats Hearts, loses at County, beats Dundee, draws at Partick, loses at home to Aberdeen, loses at home to Celtic, wins at Hamilton. Um, a draw away at St Johnson, you know, so very bitty results here actually, not the best of results. Uh, loses in the, or oh, sorry, draws in the Scottish Cup at home to Aberdeen, then loses away at Aberdeen. So he actually uh, goes out of both cups to Aberdeen, won at Ibrox, 
and then one at Pitaudry having drawn at Ibrox previously so he looks like a bit of an undercover agent here on behalf of Aberdeen uh, and then of course finishing the season with two losses there so he came third but he looks as if he's done well to even get that because it's some, it's shockingly bad actually um, well that's it that's the review of Derek McInnes' season here as Rangers manager now of course like every like I always say on these simulations here we take this with a bit of grain of salt do I think if Derek McInnes came in he would do that badly and lose to Aberdeen all the time no I don't think so I think Derek McInnes would be a pretty good Rangers manager but again, you just take these things with a wee pinch of salt. They're a little bit of fun. Um, so if you guys have enjoyed this one or, or the concept in general, pop down below and leave a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. Going to be doing some more going forward of these. Tommy Wright's obviously on his way as well. Another pl manager that a lot of pundits seem to think Tommy Wright deserves a chance as Rangers manager. I don't think he's managed at a high enough level to be able to cope with that personally. But we'll have a look at how he does, what the game seems to think. Uh, see if the game seems to think he's better than McInnes, which wouldn't be a hard hurdle to pass at the moment. But I'm not going to prattle on for too long here. Just a little bit of fun here, looking at how Derek McInnes would do at Rangers. And I'll see you guys next time for our next manager simulation.